Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to SGI, or Stargate Invasion, devlogs. It's been a little while since my last devlog. I have uh, made a few changes, mainly to one particular species, which we're going to have a look at now. And that would be the Tauri. So we're going to have a quick look at the Tauri, and I'll explain some of the changes that I have made. must excuse the coughing. I have recently just got over a cold and this cough is persistent to say the very least. Come on, load. Yeah, the problem is it's, it's slow loading because it's not binned. By binned it means uh, changed into a binary file that uh, the game can recognize and read much faster. Unfortunately, uh, there would be an update on ModDB for this with all the new updates and the privacy policy fix. Unfortunately, whenever I bin the files to do said thing, it just then stops working. So I'm having to get the team lead Ace to do it and he's very busy with uh, schoolwork in general. So... Unfortunately, he's uh, unable to do said thing. So, not much has changed on these. Uh, Reporting in. As you might be able to see, to location. Uh, this doesn't have an exhaust particle. Uh, there is a reason Moving for this, location. because there is no bone on the mesh Reporting for in. an exhaust particle. Moving to location. This uh, has been noted Reporting down and will in. be addressed. God, you're loud, woman. Sound amazing, but loud. There we go. So, um, this is an issue that has been uh, addressed, and we are working on that. Uh, also, things such as the Ares don't have exhaust particles, which is disappointing. But then you've got the X303 that does, and they're not correctly aligned, for a start. And that particle does not look quite right. So all the uh, engine exhaust particles are due to be redone by moi when I have some time to do them. And they should feel a lot more Stargate-y, including the Destiny one. There will eventually not be three engine exhausts for the Destiny. So that's a thing. Um, so let's get into the changes that I have made recently. As you ra might remember, if you've played relatively recently, uh, I added all of the beam weapons to abilities on the ships, as opposed to uh, as opposed to uh, weapons like they were before, because uh, they were weapon hardpoints like railguns and missiles, and I felt that was a bit too difficult to balance until I tried to uh, convert it to an ability. Also, the Destiny class does not have uh, exhaust particles. We'll work on that. I figured that was uh, a little too difficult to balance. The the weapon hardpoints, the weapon hardpoints are back, um, because of the simple reason that uh, we had it working already, and you know if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So as you can see now, average beam damage is back on the uh, on these. So there is uh, now weapon hardpoints for Asgard beam weapons back which is great because of raisins and this is on all of the uh, capital ships so if we look at the uh, Achilles over here average beam weapon damage also yes uh, I know a lot of uh, I went through a list of the ships and I've marked down which ones don't have exhaust bones so the modelers and texturers can fix those Again, over here, average beam damage. Uh, we have the Excalibur. Procedure class, which is, again, average beam damage. This also does have a Lagrangian beam weapon, I just realized. Luckily, it doesn't do massive amounts of damage, so we're all good. But yes, uh, you've got things such as the Scorpion support class, which again, no engine, no exhaust particles will be done. 
uh, beam weapons are back and beam weapons are back for the BC 304 that are not an ability also the main thing that I want to address in this uh, change oh great we're going up against other BC 304s this should be great uh, spawn ability nope wrong one spawn active player uh, frigate towery and some Daedaluses. The other main uh, thing that I want to address in... Uh, fuck me, that's a lot of fighters. Uh, <laughs> I might have to lower the fighter output in general, I think. Unsure why my dog is barking. He seems to think that my mother is home. She's not. So, God knows what he's got into his head. But yes, uh, you've got the BC-304s. The missiles are being adjusted to do that. They will fire straight up. But as you can hear, well, more accurately, you can still hear, um, <laughs> the Asgard beam weapons have been lowered in volume. Their sound effect file has been lowered in volume and uh, they're, um, they're also made as mono, so you can hear them through both ears. Now that may sound very, very confusing to a lot of you. Mono is only one ear. Not in Sins. Um, <coughs> yeah, in Sins, because the engine is bizarre as all balls, that needs adjusting. Um, because the engine is bizarre as all balls, you have to make it uh, a mono to have it play in stereo. I'm not sure whether this is because the sound effect comes from a single place. And so if it's in stereo, it's trying to play it from two places. We've never really been able to figure that one out, in all honesty. But all sounds need to be in mono for them to be in stereo. Those beams are not firing where they should be firing from. They should be firing from the wing sides. I will have to have a look at that. But yes, so the beams weapons are back on the ships. And they are also now much quieter. Playing from both ears in headphones and or speakers. And soon to be very, very nerfed. As you can see, a single... Uh, BC-304 is able to actually obliterate an entire fleet by itself. <coughs> Look at the damage that this frigate factory is taking when it fires the beam weapon. And boom, there goes 700 of its health. So, that is not ideal. On the other hand, this looks fucking awesome, doesn't it? It's fucking firing in multiple different directions. <laughs> this thing looks like a fucking Christmas tree on cocaine. Which is fitting as we are now approaching Christmas. But yes, there are Asgard pulses. There is also something that I'm working on in the back end for a very specific ship. And uh, people who use the GitHub will know what it is when it's released, but it uh, should change things up a little bit. Speaking of changing things up a little bit, I haven't done that. They should be able to do that, but they can't. So, oh, save. Uh, something else I have adjusted. <coughs> a, B, C, D, E, F. Uh, close that. The Ready debug menu. Roger that. Level off here. Something else I need to adjust is these. I thought I changed it, but uh, since I reverted it back, not all of them have it. Uh, the the Scorpion support class has it. If you watch its missile, well, maybe not. Basically, all the missiles should function, when I've done the update, should function like the uh, BC-304's attack missiles. So when it launches its missiles, if it ever launches its missiles, because it's about to have five beam weapons firing all at once. Oh, Jesus. 
There you go. The missiles launch, they go straight up, and then... So it's... Uh, ideally, I want all of these to have vertical launch tubes for bombardment as well. Apart from the thing that I'm currently working on. So, yes. That is a thing. That is a secret thing. It's not finished yet, and I don't want to spoil the surprise. But... You, you may enjoy it. People who use the GitHub will be able to uh, see what the changes are when I make them. But yes, uh, ideally... We hey, we've won. That was a very fast game of sins. Ideally, um, they will all act as vertical launch tubes where they fire up and then turn. So I need to fix that. And then, I uh, actually have a massive, massive update to work on. Now, I'm not going to say what it is. But all I am going to say is it's not a new species. I'm sorry, it's not. We're not there yet. This year has been pretty hectic for the entire design team. <laughs> so, it's, it, it's not the Wraith or the Asgard. I'm sorry. I wish it was, but it's not. <coughs> but they will be coming uh, as uh, including uh, onto this end of this devlog uh, I want to just uh, throw out there that we have uh, been approached and accepted the assistance of two fellow modders from a different mod so we are being assisted now by uh, Lord Set and Sundered Echo of uh, Dawn of the Reapers so, uh, Lord Set is a team leader, and Sunder Deco is their coder. And uh, both of them have offered their assistance to SGI, as they are also large fans of it. So, we will, uh, we will be working with them as well to uh, hopefully get this mod done a little bit quicker for you guys. So, I... Uh, oh, look at that fucking drop right there. Boom! So, um... I hope you've all uh, enjoyed this uh, devlog and are able to understand what's going on. Uh, like I said, unfortunately, I can't upload the thing about the privacy policy, which fixes this, because with the new privacy policy update that came five months ago, I want to say, uh, it broke the uh, menu. So I've uh, not been able to push that fix to ModDB yet. Speaking of ModDB, however, there is, uh, once again, ModDB's Mod of the Year category going up. So if you have the opportunity to vote on that for SGI, we would much appreciate it. We are trying our hardest to put in as much work as we can, but obviously real life can be hectic for some people. Uh, I recently moved about six months ago into the new house, so things have been pretty hectic, and I've been doing a lot on my Twitch channel. So I haven't been able to spend as much time on SGI as I would like, but uh, I intend to do quite a bit more on it over the coming months. So uh, I hope this has kept you guys in the loop with what's happening with SGI. And I hope you've all enjoyed. And I shall see you all in the next stream and or video. Thanks for watching. Tara.